I think I should take you to my next performance. Ah, hey! So, hey. Yeah. I'm blown, guys. I'm blown. Should not put yeah. your fine outside to so you're a CEO right now. Oh. Ain't nobody better than that. I yes. was not done. So, I was so not she's done. an equal piece hype. Stay away that, from This person you want to take to hype you? <laughs> that don't put the CEO status. This boy is a bad person. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got YC in the building. Yes, we yes, do. Yeah. YC, let's start with the. It's kind of like controversial. Mm. Really? Yeah. Did you finish your tenure with Tiny Entertainment? Kind of, sort of, so to speak. Kind of, sort of, yes, no? Yeah, possibly, maybe. No, wow. no, 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 Did you, did you not? I mean, well, I think the, the most important thing is, is that, you know, we both went our separate ways on amicable terms, so, okay. you know, regardless what of whatever. I mean, just, you know, it's, it's a chapter and everything, everything that starts always has an end, but, you know, I think the most important thing is how everything ends. And it ended on, you know, the best possible terms it could have. And right now, I'm just looking to the future. You know, I don't have any bad blood with anybody. They still remain, you know, people that I've worked with. I still remain grateful to them for the part they played in my yeah. career. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. When last, you, when last did you talk to Tiny? Hey, That's uh, new. December. <laughs> uh, I, I, I want to talk about. I want to talk about your uh, last year, 2018. I mean, yeah. even you, even you said on your page that it had been a quiet year for yeah. you. Why? Why was it a quiet year? You know, I think the fact that I have my outfit now. A lot of people don't know a lot of things that goes into establishing a company mm -hmm. and you know a music company at that. So. The, the fact that I'm no longer with Tiny Entertainment is not a decision that just happened overnight. It's something that we've been working on. And finally, me announcing it this month was because everything had been put in place. So most of last year was spent trying to, yeah, you know, register all that needs to be registered, making sure that I'm putting the proper structure in place for what I wanted to do for myself. So it's not a decision that, okay, ah, you know, December, I'm done with these guys. January, I'm putting on my own thing. No, it was something that I had to be sure, okay, do I want to, you know, sign to somebody else or do I want to begin my own journey? Okay, so mm. in as much as growth is very important, sometimes yeah. it scares us. Were you scared at any point in time when you were living tiny, you know, scared to move on? Uh, I would say yes and no because, I mean, first of all, going from being on that label to standing on your own. Now there's a lot more that's gonna be expected from you. There's a lot more that you're gonna be doing. There's a lot more expenses that you're taking on on yourself because being an artist on that label, you just know that, okay, all you have to do is record the music, you know, you're somewhere. focused on your creativity. Mm -hmm. But now, you know, I'm not just a musician, I'm also an executive, you know, people are bringing things to me. Loud beat. <laughs> <laughs> CEO, yes. You know, people are bringing things to me, love. I'm not signing any artists. As for, now. Yet, you know, cause uh, for now. You know, everybody has worry. been sending me CVs. Oh, this is wow. my song. Oh, I have this friend that I think will help your company. It. But I think we're still at the stage where I'm pretty much trying to establish the people that the AMBT company is not just a record label. Mm -hmm. What I what I envision for it is sort of a safe haven where creatives can, you know, if you have any ideas, you need support and you need any sort of push in any way we can, in the capacity we can, we're there to help. Let's talk about AMBT. Uh, that yeah. ain't nobody but uh, Dan. Yeah. Where did that come from? I think that came from Jagaban. The, fir the very, <laughs> <laughs> the, you know, it started out as a slogan because when I when I was writing Jagaban, I'm you know trying to make stuff around Jagaban, ain't nobody better than, and it sort of stuck, mm. and you know it became like a slogan that I always say in my songs. And then when Juice came out, it just pretty much blew up. So initially, I'd always thought, okay, AMBT sounds cool. It it was supposed to be the name of my album. But when the, the point came where I was like, okay, I want to set up my own imprint and, 
you know, the AMBT company just sounds very official. And very sure. cool. Okay, so now that you talked about an album, now yes. that is, it, you know, you have Ain't Nobody mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. Another, that's what I'm going to call it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ain't Nobody But Another Company. Yeah. <laughs> so, are we expecting an album from you oh, yeah, or definitely. an EP or something? Because I know no. you did let... I've, I've, I think I've, I'm, I'm... Done with I've, EPs. Yeah, I'm done yeah. with EPs. I've You'll saturated the EP. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think it's, it's about time for my album, so... The album has a different name. We haven't announced it yet, but there's a different, it's no longer the AMBT album. It's now the AMBT company. So the album is oh. obviously going to have to be. You need to trademark this uh, AMBT. Yeah. Uh, everything has been. People are still in Trust me, every, that's, why, that's why I was on the look. Like, I took care of every loose end. So nice. can, can we talk about the little break you took trying yeah. to sort all of this out? You yeah. know it is in the Nigerian music industry whereby when you snooze, you lose. lose. Somebody just comes and take over mm -hmm. your yeah. spot. Do you think that's why C spot is still there? I mean, I believe my sport is still there because I don't know as many people that make music the way I make music. I feel like my style is very, very distinct and different. That's one thing that's worked for me. Ain't nobody years. better than. Yes. <laughs> 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 Please. Please, can you check me? Can you check me? Thank you very much. Well, you much. know, I think he has a point because I was checking through your page and I saw that you posted something on mm -hmm. Spotify last year and yeah. you had. Last year, you had 17 million streams. Yeah. Regardless and of the fact that it was a One million year. fans in yeah. 65 different countries. And yeah. you now tagged it. The caption was, oh, a quiet year. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> if you're getting 17 million on a quiet I'm year, what is know. a loud year looking like? I mean, I, I'm guessing, the, hopefully, we're projecting about at least, you know, 60 to 70 million that's, streams that's this amazing. year. So that's, that's what we're aiming for. At least 100 million. Let me know even. That's yes, true. Yeah. Okay, okay, so your style of music is unique. Everything about you is unique. Yeah. What are, the, I mean, where do you get your inspiration from? What inspires you? Mm, I think the drive to just succeed and make money, basically, because, you know, that's one thing that drives everybody. I love making music. That's already been established. I yeah. love making music, but it's one thing to enjoy creating, and it's another thing to transform that into, you know, Rock cash. Okay. So I mean, th that's that's the most important thing. That's I think that's the challenge for every, any and everybody that's making music. Cause there's nobody that will come and say, "Oh, I'm making music because I love it." You won't perform free at shows. Hmm. You won't put your music up for free. Hey, he just he, he broke the table. I love music. That's why I'm into music. But <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> Wait, I, I, no. you know, most times when I'm in the studio, there's there are songs that I make just because. Okay, this is how I feel at the time. But then there are times where you go into a session and you know. Okay, we're trying to put out the next single. What's going to be a commercial success? Mm. A lot of things are coming to mind. You know, so talking about that, you just released, or not just in December, you released yeah. a new yeah. single, My, My Side. side. My yeah. side. Is that on the commercial lane of things, or this is how I feel right now kind of thing? I think at the time, I just wanted to put something out because people started asking, oh, where's YC? What's up with YC? YC's going MIA. Mm. You know, I know that. And I think one thing the break did for me, it, it, it made me understand that, you know, as a musician, you, if you have more than just music to offer, you have to always put that out there because I was seeing a lot of people saying stuff, a lot of stuff online and one thing I didn't like was the fact that people just reduced me to my musical talent alone. Like, so most times, like, what I mean is, if you're not putting out music, they just think, oh, you're not doing anything else with your life. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one major thing that I'm going to try to change this year and let people understand that, you know, I make music, obviously, but there's also a lot more that I have to offer. Now okay. let's talk. Up, let's talk about rap right now. Uh, we see rappers. You saw the sci-fi, yes, yeah, Mai and them. Yeah. And uh, right now, do you think you would jump on something like that? I mean, if the money because is rappers, right. they are, they are taking the shot right now that rappers have gone soft. Everybody mm. has been saying this, and that came out, and everybody's now saying this year in Nigeria is the year for hip hop. Uh, do you think? <laughs> That, that is true. They say that every year. <laughs> <laughs> I love that wow. response. I mean, you know, I feel like I feel like they say that every year, but I think this year, no, no doubt, there's there's a lot of hype on Nigerian hip hop right now. A lot of people are ginger, mm -hmm. but I'm just waiting to see what you know the rappers are going to do differently because it's one thing. You're amongst them, though. <laughs> are you are you taking yourself out of the equation? No, I mean I'm 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 definitely a rapper, but you know when I say the rappers like. The, 
the rest of, because, mm -hmm. you know, one thing, a lot of people say when I came into music and I was making rap music, they thought I was going to be like the Messiah, and, you know. Mm -hmm. But one thing people have to understand is you can't do it on your own. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's one thing if I'm making rap music and I'm getting successful and I'm growing on my own, but yeah. it won't grow the rap industry if other rappers are not also coming out and doing things for themselves. So I'm just waiting to see, you know, one sci-fi is not enough to just change the sure. whole narrative. Okay. You know, um, you have to put out projects, shoot videos, and work on your brand as a rapper as well. That's good. Okay. <coughs> so um, what do we expect from YC and A&BT this Ain't year in 2019? In 2019. we're actually on the lookout for YC. Nah, year. definitely. In 2019, my album is going to drop my debut album. Okay. You guys would definitely love, love that. Nice. Uh, I'm working on a proper campus tour, you know, because a lot of people only tour outside Nigeria. A lot of Nigerian artists only tour outside Nigeria. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I'm, I'm one of them. I'm one of them. You've done this before. You've done this before. That's what I'm laughing like. Okay. You know, so I, I really, really want to see that happen. Even if it's a few universities, at least I want to be able to touch all corners of Nigeria mm. when it comes to that. But I'm going to be a hype woman. I mean, that's yeah, should, oh, wow. should they finish your title? <laughs> <laughs> if you want Don't to mind. come, just say yeah, yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much, YC, for coming on yeah, the show. We've had so much me. fun having yeah. you right here. Yes, we do. Do you agree? Definitely. Okay, guys, finally, it's a wrap this week on Entertainment Splash. Wow. The whole week is gone. I feel like this is the fastest January in the history of January. Is it like? It's still, no, it's still the watching. slowest. <laughs> so guys, well, it's been a roller coaster, and we have had good, 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 good time with yes. amazing people. Yes, of course. definitely. Yes, we did. Yeah, absolutely. Benny Vici, Benchi, mm. we came, we saw, we conquered. We are indeed the soul of pure entertainment. It's been a great experience with you guys right here on Entertainment Splash this week, definitely. So just leave Italian for the Italians. Yes, it has <laughs> been a definitely a very great week, and we'll see you guys next week. In between, make sure you have a beautiful weekend, fun and colorful as we are. See you guys next I week. I know, my dress ah. is the most colorful. <laughs> Thank you very much, Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Mwah, mwah, mwah.